Hey, welcome everyone to this course, beginning with WordPress custom themes. In this course, we're going to create our own WordPress website and we will do this by using a standard theme at the beginning, but we will continue and develop our own theme so that we really have our own customized website based on famous and very, very good WordPress backend, which delivers us the content and allows us to yeah, really create a, an exciting, good website. Now, why don't we get started right now? Okay, let's get started by setting up our development environment. We will use cloud9.io or c9.io, which is a cloud IDE, which allows us to program and, and yeah, store our um, project in the cloud where we will have a pre-configured workspace. So we don't have to set up anything on our local machine. We don't have to go through any installation processes or something like this. We just set up our workspace there and get started right away. Yeah. So to start this, you should head over to c9.io and then hit the sign up button to create an account. It doesn't cost anything, it is free. You don't have to take the paid uh, accounts for this course. The free one is absolutely more than sufficient. So set up your account and we'll be right back. Okay, so once you've set up your account and logged in, you should see your basic dashboard, which looks like this one. And the cool thing is Cloud9 already comes with a pre-configured WordPress workspace. So we do have to do even less than anywhere else. So all we have to do is hit create a new workspace. So all you have to do here is enter a project name, WordPress Basics, and a short description. This is the WordPress Basics course. Doesn't really matter to be honest because we will mark it as a private workspace, which means other people won't be able to have a look at it. Okay, so. This is that, nothing to enter here. And here we pick which kind of workspace do we want. And as you can see, Cloud9 really provides a broad variety of pre-configured workspaces to get started with. And we could also set up our own workspace and configure it nitty gritty to our needs. But here we can just select the WordPress. Um, workspace and hit create workspace. And now Cloud9 will set up everything that we need to have to get right uh, started with uh, developing. So let's just wait until, until this guy is finished and here we are. Now Cloud9 already set up some basics we would have to set up when installing it on a real server or our local machine. Specifically what Cloud9 did here is yet yeah, take care about the database details. But that is not too difficult and we will cover that when we come to deployment later in that course. Okay, so we can close this window and it is already installed. So let's just hit run project and get it going. Oh, I think we can already go open and preview. And here we are. So what shows up is the normal WordPress installation screen because we have to set this part up and this is really, really easy. So let's just enter a site title, WordPress Basics, and the username. I will just pick Max here. Let's set up a password. We don't need this uh, certainly very good but very complicated password here because we're running a local development environment or not local but it is our development environment it hasn't to be that secure we just want to be able to access it fast so i will just pick one two three and as this is a very very weak uh, password and certainly not recommended for protection i have to confirm to use this this weak password now just enter an email address and then hit install okay the next screen you should see is the success screen because normally we would have to enter, as I said, some database details, so especially the database name, password, user, but Cloud9 already did that for us. Okay, so now we can just hit login and, yeah, well, log in. 
And here we are in the WordPress background. Now we can pop that window out of that smaller in browser browser to a real browser tab so that we have a chance to look at it in its full beauty. And as you can see, this is our front end as it comes out of the box. And if we go up here and hit the dashboard, we are taken to the back end of our application. So the back end is the part where we will be able to create posts pages to administer our whole site and to provide the content which is to be seen on the front end on the other hand which we let me just open it in a new tab which you can see here so front end back end now maybe you have um, here the indicator that there are updates to be installed because cloud9 seems not to provide the most recent version of wordpress so let me just do that real quick and you should do it as well if you have the possibility just hit reinstall now okay so now i do have the most recent version and i just want to wrap this very first video up with a quick tour through the wordpress backend because as i said this is the part where you will fill your website with life and although we will come to the development of themes in just about the next video it is very important that you understand how you do control your website. So you have your dashboard. Why is it showing updates again? I really should have update plugins. Maybe I have to do that to be left alone. Ah, okay, now it's gone. Okay, so now the dashboard. This is the first page you see when you log into your admin backend. And it is basically just an overview over all the options you have on the left here or over the most important ones. So you can start customizing your currently picked theme and don't mistake that with what we're going to do here. We're going to develop our own theme. Whereas here you have an existing theme, which you can configure in certain ways, which will be doable for our own theme as well. That means deciding which options show up in which menu and so on. That is some basic modularity you can provide with a theme. Yeah, so here we can customize an existing one whereas we will create a brand new one which is obviously even more customizable than using an existing one we also can write our first blog post actually we do have a blog post but that is the basic one wordpress comes with when you install it so it's just you can see something on this page really so yeah we can write our first blog post we can add an about page which is, which is basically we, we just add a page which happens to be about us because WordPress thinks that might be a clever thing to do and we will come to pages in just a second we can view it which we're already doing in this tab and yeah we got some more options here so basically most important is the post thing because after all, WordPress is a content management system, especially useful for blogs. So we might want to create posts on it at some point, which we do here. Posts, add new, and boom, we're in the post editor where we just enter a post title and the post content with formatting if we want to. Okay, so very straightforward forward here. Over here we can preview our post, we can save it as a draft which won't publish it yet and we can yeah, immediately publish it. Here we got the option of you choosing the format of the post. So the, the default is standard, a nice sentence, but we could also say it's, it's just an image, just a video, it's just a quote, just a link, just a short little note which should be yeah, shown but it's not a real post and so on. And we will come back to this section when we get into creating our own theme because 
um, these formats depend on the theme you have installed. Not every theme supports all formats and you might not need all formats. So that is something we will come back to when we develop our own theme. Here we can attach a category to our post, like video games, if we have a post about video, uh, a specific video game. We can add tags so that it is found when we're searching for those tags. And we can set a featured image, which basically just is a, yeah, yeah, a specific image which will show up um, next to the excerpt on the front page or above the post, uh, depending on the theme, which is really just uh, an image outstanding of the rest of the images which might be attached to a post. Here we can do the categories and tags administration under media. Uh, what the? Yeah. Oh, because I didn't publish it, it's asking me if I really want to do that. That's okay. Here we could see all our photos we uploaded, we're using in our blog and so on. Under pages, we can create additional pages. So what are pages to begin with? We do have our blog with our posts, but that might not be everything we have on our website. We might have an about us section, we might have a contact page, and that is what we create here. Here we're creating static pages, which are accessible by the user additional to our blog posts. And that is, if you remember this thing here, add an about page. It's just a page if, as if we were to add new and enter about. Now we have an about page. We could also have a test page or an any page. The, the title is arbitrarily, or not arbitrarily, but you want to choose the title which describes the page. So let's just add an about page about me. Okay. As with a post, we can save it as a draft, we can preview it, we can publish it. We can add page attributes, so we could set that it is a sub-page to some other page, and we can decide the order. So for example, if you want this to be the left page in our navigation, we would set it to order one and the next page to two and so on. We can also set a feature image. So I will publish this one and now we have an about page. If we go back here, <clears throat> you can see that it is not showing up as of now. That is because we would have to tell WordPress where it should show up and we will come back to that later. So the comments section basically just shows all the comments which were um, created and to which posts they belong and here you can mark them as spam, delete them, and so on. So just to get an overview what people think about your post really. That is the end of the content section, to put it that way. And down here we got various configuration settings, uh, various things we can uh, use to, yeah, get the page to work the way we want. So under appearance, we could choose our themes, we could customize our theme, we can add widgets. And we got this point here, which is important, the menus. Because as I said, if you look at our page, we, we don't have any place to navigate to our new about page, right? We would do this here. So we just add, add a new menu, let's put name it main menu. And here we want to add the about page and yeah, let's throw in the sample page as well, add to menu. Here we have everything configured. We hit save menu and now we have to go to manage locations and tell the theme where it should stick that menu. And we have two possible locations. We get a primary menu and a social links menu. And those locations are really specified by the theme and we are going to do that as well when we create our own theme. So let's just uh, stick it to the primary menu, save the changes. And now if we come back here, we got our menu here, where we can navigate to the about page. So that is how you create and, and manage menus in WordPress. You can also edit uh, the headers or something which shows up at the top of your page. 
and so on. You can install additional plugins. You can manage users because you, you might have more users than just your root user. You might have authors which are able to create posts but um, don't have to write to change all the settings in the back end and so on. Uh, we get some additional tools and here are some general settings about the behavior of our page and so on. So that's really it for the first video. We set up our WordPress installation in Cloud9. Um, we had a look at a custom, uh, at a standard theme. And you should now be aware or have a clue how WordPress works. And what we're gonna do in the next video is get rid of that theme, create our own one and build it up to be a real cool looking modern website. So excited to start. I hope you stick with me. This is Max, see you in the next video.